Oh my god. Oh my god. Ben Corner to us with Amber Heard's lawyer defends her 2 0. Right, so it's early in the morning. I'm going to go get ready for the game soon. But finally, football is back. We are back here on Boxing Day. Honestly, I'm so glad the football's back on. You know, life has been quieter than my bedroom on Friday night since uh, since the football stopped. Less action than an old pensioner's home. We're going to go to Liverpool. We're going to win. Unai Emery, come on the villa. We're home. We're back. It's freezing. Right guys, today we are back here at Villa Park for Boxing Day. Today we are here uh, for the 5.30 kickoff. Returning, football is finally back. I am so excited today. We are playing Liverpool at home. Of course, the World Cup is finally over. And today we are back here at Villa Park for the, the first Premier League game. But today it's going to be Liverpool. It's going to be a really tough game today. Obviously, the World Cup's just happened. Liverpool have had a lot of players gone, which might help us because their players are like Van Dijk, Alisson, Nunes, all those players should be very tired. Uh, we've obviously not really had any players apart from Matty Cash go. So Villa should be at full fitness and full strength today. Today, you know what, guys? A lot of people are very unconfident. But today, I think we're going to get something. I think it's going to be a 2-2 draw. As long as we play well, as long as we play how we were playing before the World Cup and doing Emery, I think we'll be all right. Today so it's going to be a really tough test, but I think today we're going to get something. I think the atmosphere is going to be class. I'm so glad to be back. Let's hope for a good performance. I think Liverpool are going to be too tired. Come on the Villa. Also, my hair is like worse than I don't know, but come on the Villa. Out of the whole end, as we can see, it's great to be back, obviously. Uh, I'm waiting by myself, to be honest, outside the whole end, because Grandad, the old man, is late and I'm here alone. Not the first time I've ever been alone in my life, but we're waiting for him. Loads in half and half scarves today, um, which I'm not really a fan of, to be honest. Go in, I'm gonna go inside the whole end, I'm gonna get some food, because I am absolutely starving. Come on, the villa. Got the new shirt on, by the way, for Christmas. Come on. We're here, outside the whole end today. Liverpool, what's gonna happen? Uh, I don't know, mate. Liverpool are top side, aren't they? So, yep. I'm not uh, overly confident. If we take anything away from this game, I'll be buzzing and having the merriest Christmas ever. Yeah, fair enough. And uh, what we're saying for the rest of the season, obviously, back from the World Cup, what, what's just gonna happen? Um, I, don't, I don't know, I'm hopeful with this manager, but everything depends on results, don't it? Do you know yeah. what I mean? So, like, it, to me, it doesn't matter who we get in, I just want the results, because okay. hopefully we pick the points up and upwards and onwards. Back in the whole end, we've got our chips, they're really good. We've also got Grandad. Grandad, come on. How are we feeling to be back? Fantastic to be back. A bit worried, uh a bit worried about what happened at Everton in the week, but who knows? Yeah. We won the last two games, including against United. Why yeah. wouldn't we beat these lads? Okay, do you think we're going to win then? Yeah, we're going to win? I think so. Yeah. I wouldn't come if I didn't think we are going to win. Fair enough, fair enough. Annie, what are we saying today? I'm winning 1-0. 1-0, 1-0. Fair enough, fair enough. We've got the chips as well. Chips absolutely banging. I'll give it a 8 out of 10. We're back. 42 days since the last Villa game, last Premier League game. We are back at Villa Park. It's a big crowd. It's a big game. We're going to get something. Come on, the Villa. First minute of the game. One minute already. I mean, he's had two months to practice. Watkins has missed a good chance there. I think a lot of fans are starting to get frustrated with Watkins, but we're one nil down inside eight minutes. It's a really good ball from Trent to uh, Robertson. He's put it in and Salah's just tapped it in, but we're losing one nil already. Watkins should have scored there as well, man. Come on, the Villa. Watkins again! Watkins again! Especially in midfield, but if we want to win this, we'll get a point. We really need to step it up. So we need to. I don't even know. Look, what's us? We're winning now. Come on, Villa. Oh! Oh my God! Oh my 
my God. We defend corners versus Amber Heard's lawyer defends Heard. 2-0. 2 0 Liverpool. Half time, Liverpool 2, Villa Nero. It's just a bit frustrating, really, because I do think that we actually haven't played awful. I think we've created some decent chances. I think Bailey's been pretty good. McGinn's been alright, and we've defended okay. I just think Liverpool are they're so much better than us, man. But Watkins, oh, he is so bad. When he goes to the barbers and asks for them dreadlocks, I bet he just calls them dreadful instead of dreadlocks because he is dreadful. I don't even know if that makes sense, but. He had two or three really good chances and he did not put them away. And I don't think we played too bad, but Liverpool have kept us quiet. They've uh, played well in the field. And I think overall they just took their chances. They scored from two corners. So it's frustrating because I think we could have potentially got something from this game. But I think I think it's a bit too late now. The second half, going to come out fighting. We've got to play that iron. Come on the villa. Travel near and far, you can hear us singing, John McGinn. We're the pride of Birmingham, we shall not be moved. Seven minutes into the game, second half's been a lot more open to be fair, but we're really just not taking our chances. We've had three or four, but great a few decent chances, but in general, we just need to take them and we're not doing that, which is, you know, why we are on the table. But... Oh, come on, Villa. I reckon we can get a goal, at least a goal. Talking about taking our chances, we've scored, it's Ollie Watkins, thank God he's actually got a goal. It's only took him 15 chances so far, but it's 2-1, 2-1, come on Ollie Watkins, come on, you never know, 58 minutes in, we've been the best to see this second half. Ollie Watkins, head up, Ollie Watkins, da 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 Oh no! Watch Nunes highlights versus Man City. He is literally the Uruguayan Watkins. Apart from Watkins has scored. The shooters just come on, took it around the keeper, and it's 3 1 Liverpool. I think we actually played quite well in the second half in general, but the last 10 minutes we slowed down and we hadn't played as well as we started, so I think it's probably deserved. I think that's game over, nine minutes left. 3 1 down, so. But walking back from the game now, we lost 3 1. I thought in the second half of all, we actually played pretty well, probably better than Liverpool, but. As soon as Liverpool scored that third goal, the game was over, we gave up and yeah, I just, I don't know, I thought we just lacked a lot of quality. I think we didn't play too bad today. I just think in general throughout the entire game, Liverpool were just a lot better than us and our defending was very questionable at times, especially for the third and the uh, second goal. But I do think coming back, there's, there's quite a lot of positives to take from that game. I thought Bailey played pretty well. Watkins, terrible finishing, but in but actual playmaking, he played quite well. But 
I just think we couldn't handle Liverpool today. Nunes, although he didn't score, played well. Salah, we couldn't handle him. I just think in general, Liverpool were just a lot better than us. There's a lot of positives to take, I'm sure Emery will be fairly happy. Um, I think we'll finish mid-table this season anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, Liverpool fans, if you enjoyed, show the video around, like it, because you did deserve it. Liverpool fans are pretty decent as well, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Very, very, very close to 12,000 subs, I'm out of breath and saying all that, so subscribe and uh yeah up the villa we go again against tottenham away on new year's day i'll be there come on